Thousands of women in Indonesia are putting on pink helmets and hopping on mobile app hailed motorcycle taxis, said to be a safer form of transportation. The company is called LadyJack, and it's one of a growing number of services offering safer and more comfortable transportation for women in Jakarta. Last June, the rape of a woman in a public minivan sparked uproar in the city, leading to the rise of services exclusively for women. In other public transportation, such as public minivans, there are too many men in such a tight space, which makes me feel very uncomfortable. Lady Jack founder Brian Mulyadi said he formed the company because women need to be able to feel safe when they're getting around. Well, interesting uh, campaign or movements over there, but uh, Bruce, uh, people are still calling for more for the Indonesian government to do about the situation. Sure, Daniel. They have these services growing in popularity now, but um, according to one transportation analyst, uh, the government isn't dealing with the actual problems. Apparently, women have gone to police after being harassed in public transportation, and the police have seemed unsure about how to deal with that. Now, the same analyst said maybe a first step would be to install CCTV in public places that are deemed unsafe to begin uh, tackling the issue. Right. It seems like they were focusing on visually seeming more safer instead of focusing on more essential, uh, substantial moves like, as, as you mentioned, surveillance cameras and mm -hmm. uh, other uh, important elements that could actually help alleviate the problem somewhat. Well, thank you so much for your time again, Bruce. Thanks, Daniel.